Serve is building relationships through an annual day of service. And I'm talking with Sue Weimer today. How are you, Sue? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having us today. Yes, and Sue is the Director of Outreach at First Congregational Church in Hudson, mm -hmm. and she also is the Director of First Serve. Um, so people who haven't heard about First Serve, can you just give us a very quick rundown of what it is generally? Sure. First Serve is, it started out as an annual day of service for members of our congregation to go on out beyond the church and serve others during projects. And it has expanded now to include many different faith communities and different organizations as well. And we're really focused now in the North Hill community of Akron. Perfect. And we're going to focus on a few of the areas. And I want you to talk to me a little bit about your internship program that you have. Sure. Our internship program um, is a summer internship program. And um, I believe we have just completed the fourth year of this, okay. where we hire students from North High School who are recommended to us by their school counselors and um, students from our Hudson community as well as Streetsboro and this year from Revere High School. Okay. And all together we had nine um, interns. In interns. And okay. we would, uh, it's an eight week period where we come together, we meet at North High School and um, as a team go and do projects at our North Hill partners such as Akron Co-op Farms, North Hill Community House, Grace House, Trinity UCC Clothing Room, and over the eight weeks, they become very close, Yeah, and we um, exchange um, a lot of information and food on all the variety of cultures that are brought together by these students. Yeah, and stories, and just getting right, to know each other, and how cool. Now, what kind of a commitment is this for a student? Um, are they committed? Are they there all week for those eight weeks? Is this once a week commitment? It, um, we have them like? Monday through Thursday. Okay. From about nine o'clock to three, and we provide lunch and snacks, and um, we also visit local restaurants. Yes. And um, kind of introduce the neighborhood to all the interns. Yeah, that's great. Perfect. That's good. All right, so we're going to move on. We're going to talk about some of the other um, interesting things that are going on. You have a student day of service as well as the regular day of service that happens. Um, so tell me a little bit about the student day of service. Sure. So at North High School, um, we, ha we worked with administrators and counselors, and last year we did kind of a trial student okay. day of service. And so this uh, will be year two? This will be year two, Great. and it was a huge success. Um, students need volunteer hours. Yeah. And uh, many of the students in at North have difficulty coming, finding transportation to get back over the weekend. So we provided a day of service while they're at the school. So this year we have um, 70 students from Hudson High School's service learning class coming to North. And we have um, four classes of AVID students from North High School who will be coming together. So it's about 150 wow, students. Wow, that's amazing. And we are working with um, Cuzzo, the aerial artist who is doing murals in North High to create um, an awesome mural in the hallway of North High School. That's so cool. Plus Gum Dip Theater will pre be providing also a um, breakout session to get to know, for both of these groups of kids to get to know one another and actually gain service hours. Yeah, absolutely. And then also on the day of service, so separate from the student day of service, the regular yes. day of service with First Serve, you have a cultural immersion program. Um, so maybe for someone who is not ready to, you know, get out there with their gardening tools or their hammers or whatnot, um, and they, but they want something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Sure. So, um, part of the day of service is getting to know the neighborhood and the community and being comfortable Absolutely. coming. And so one way to do that is through food. So we have created two food tours that happen on Sunday, September 10th during the day of service where um, we will meet at North High School and then caravan to three different restaurants in North Hill who are super excited that we are visiting them, yeah. promoting their business, absolutely, and hoping that people then will return on their own to support these local businesses. Yeah, that's fantastic. And mm -hmm. I've had quite a bit of food from that area, and I know <laughs> it's amazing. So it's amazing. yeah, I 
look forward to you know hearing stories um, and I bet they'll have stories even from that day of getting to know people yes. in in the community and and that's what it's all about right it is absolutely exactly. well thank you so much for being here can you share with our viewers um, your website that they could go to if they're interested in any of those programs absolutely it's join first org. perfect and when you go in there you can see all the um, projects that are available to still available still open still open still available few, still open but yeah, the food great. tour there is room okay great yeah. all right we'll make sure that we put all that information below thank you so much for being Thanks, with me Sarah. sue thank you all right you guys stay tuned we've got more great programming coming up right away